nice lot of sand in the bottom of the clay, on, on the underside of the clay. This will stop the clay from sticking onto the mould. Okay, I think that's more or less ready now. I'm going to slide this off, and you should lift this onto their knee like this, because you don't want it to get sticking your fingers into the underside of it. Now, throw it onto the mould, <laughs> like this, <there. laughs> and then... Wire is following the shape of the metal parts of the mould. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think the, um, the workbench would be quite that low. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were having a really big <laughs> down to reach <laughs> that. It's a bad it's a little bit low for Paul. Let's take those extra bits off. Then I'd use a stick, which you call a striker. It's just a, a long stick. Long stick. Wait till you see what he does. And they put water onto the mould, Slide it onto a rack. You see all these tiles here, it's all made by one man. You'd make those over a week. So it's all one man's work. So you see how much work it is to make one tile? And then make 300 of these in a day. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you can see, it's all soft at the moment still. So it's quite delicate. And you have to try and keep it in that shape. So it will be carefully placed onto the rack. And then as it dries, it will shrink. Shrink down and then it will go into the kiln. So, if you imagine that's on a drying rack now and left for a couple of weeks, after, we, after they've been left on the racks, we'd then take them into the kiln and we'd load them into the kiln. 